So it's six o'clock in the morning. It's still kind of dark outside. It snowed last night, so there are plows and fresh snow everywhere. Super pretty, but I am exhausted. I'm eating an English muffin, which is like the first thing that I've had in two days. But it's time to go to work, so we're heading to Radio Row to see who we can find. crazier here at Radio Road today in the Mall of America. There are radio stations from around Minnesota and from around the country broadcasting live, talking to athletes and other talent coming through. We're going to go check out the fans in the fans gallery and see what they're most excited about today. If you're from Minnesota, this is your first Radio Row experience then, yeah. correct? Yes. Yep. So is it what you expected or is it a little more hectic? I think it's more than I expected. I didn't expect to be able to get so close to everybody, but it's, it's been really cool. Hey, you, you know your you know your team didn't win a game this year, right? Charlotte. Yeah. That's why there's no I just want to make right? sure you know they're not here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, I will say this: with all of you fans standing around and all of this chaos going on back over here, this is by far the warmest I have been since I landed. <laughs> have the guys up front, you know, to get after uh, the pass. Fletcher Cox. Yeah. He's a stud. So, I don't have a place to sit at Radio Row. All right, sounds good. Thanks. So this is my workstation for the day. So at Radio Row, as expected, a lot of athletes and talent are coming through and talking about the big game on Sunday, but there's a few other topics that consistently come up. We're talking concussion protocol, player safety, and of course, analyzing the blockbuster trade of Alex Smith from the Chiefs to the Redskins that broke last night. I think it's great for everybody. First of all, I don't think the Redskins would have been able to sign Kirk Cousins because he's going to command between $120 and $140 million. So to get Alex Smith at 94 is a little bit of a bargain. You know there's going to be at least five other suitors. I mean, you just got to go. You learn a lot of duty. Uh, but after the game, uh, a year, year about, about a year after the game, I start work. I, I was like, man, I need, I need to get help. Uh, it's dangerous, man. I, I, I'm gonna tell you a stat I had. So I, I went in and got a, a baseline test. And, uh, 44 percent of my brain was dysfunctional. So 44, uh, 44 percent of my brain wasn't working right after I got out the NFL. Well, I think what the Eagles showed everybody is that when they lost the league MVP in Week 14 to the Rams, the team didn't collapse. In fact, they rallied. You know, it says that the team is really good. It's not just the quarterback. The quarterback was thought to be the guy that made everybody better, and he did. But this is a really good football team. They're in the trenches. They win in the trenches. And I think they're better than the Patriots on both sides. I, I've liked the Eagles from the day that ended the championship Sunday ended. Number one through 30. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. What is the last show you've been watching? Oh, Narcos. Narcos. Love Narcos. There's Narcos is the best. Well, I want to binge watch the Honey Jones travel show from uh, <laughs> yeah. the travel show. It's still out there. Is it still out there available? Like, type my name on the travel. There you go, baby. There you go. <laughs> Increased security has been a major theme going into this Super Bowl, and one lap around Mall of America shows exactly what they mean by that.